tayo ng masaral Sa mas walang maiiwan At sayang magtaral tayo ng mas tuto Upang ikaw yung asenso Maging matyaga, maging matalino Halina mataral na tayo Hi, good day. This is Jessica Manasha, your lecturer for quarter four, week five. But before we proceed to our lesson, let us review. Read each statement below and answer the questions that follow. Write your answer on the blanks provided. Anthony receives starting salary is in 8th decile. Should Anthony be glad about his salary or not? Why? You have 10 seconds to answer these questions. Answer? Yes, because 80% of the employees receive a salary that is less than or equal to his salary, and 20% of the employees receive a salary that is greater than his salary. Number 2. On a 20-question math test, the 70th percentile for number of correct answers was 16. What does it mean? You have 10 seconds to answer this question. Answer? 70% of students answered 16 or less than correctly and 30% students answered 16 or more questions correctly. Take note, a higher percentile could be considered good as answering more questions correctly is desirable. Let us now proceed to our lesson, Formulation of Statistical Mini Research. As for your competency or objective, the learner formulates a statistical mini research. What is a research? Research is defined as careful consideration of study regarding a particular concern or problem using scientific methods. As for statistical mini research, is the output of data gathered through questionnaire, interview, observation, and experimentation from an identified set of samples. There are steps in formulating a statistical mini research. Step 1. State the problem. 2. Design the research. Gather data. Analyze data. Make summary, conclusion, and recommendations. Let us now have the step 1. State the problem. Think of a problem that you may be materialized in your time frame. It can be current issues or trending problems which has relevance to your readers that can be considered. The data of the problem must be attainable. If not, think of a better substitute. It must be feasible. Formulate the hypothesis. Hypothesis is a proposed explanation or answer to the problem stated based on the limited data gathered at the beginning of the research. Provide assumptions and state the limitations. When starting a statistical mini-research, ask the following questions to help you state the problem. Who are the target respondents? How are the participants selected? What is the time frame of your research? And what do you want to know? 
These are the step 1. State the problem. Let's now proceed to the step 2. Design the research. In designing the research, provide an outline of your mini-research. It is the blueprint of your statistical mini-research. Get a good example. It must possess a characteristic of a subject's under considerations. We will now proceed to step 3. Gather the data. In gathering the data, devise a way to obtain the data. Apply the sampling techniques if needed. There are several sampling techniques. Simple random sampling, systematic sampling, stratified sampling, clustered sampling, convenient sampling, quota sampling, or snowball sampling. Some data are readily available from school records or government websites. Others can be obtained through surveys, questionnaires, interviews, or observations. After we gather the data, we will now proceed to step 4, analyze the data. You must remember that it is the heart of the research work. Check if the problem was resolved. Give a good presentation of your results. Also, check if the assumptions behind the procedures and techniques were met. Here's some examples on how we analyze the data. This is from a published of research entitled Students' Perception and the Use of Technology in the Classroom at Higher Education Institution in the Philippines. analyze the data, we will now proceed in step 5, making a summary, conclusions, and recommendations. The last step of formulating mini-research wherein the findings of the data is organized. This will answer your hypothesis. Make a summary of the entire research. Come with the conclusions. Generate recommendations or suggestions on future researches. So those are the five steps in formulating a statistical mini-research. I guess you were now ready in making your own mini-research. Take note, the title summarizes the main idea or ideas of your study. A good title contains the fewest possible words that adequately describe the contents and or purpose of your research paper. Characteristics of a good research title According to rhetoric scholars Hairston and Kinney, making a good title for a paper involves ensuring that the title of the research accomplishes four goals. First, a good title predicts the content of the research paper. Second, a good title should be interesting to the reader. Third, it should reflect the tone of the writing. Fourth and finally, it should contain important keywords that will make it easier to be located during a keyword search. Tips for writing an effective research paper title The following example will help you understand how you can go about writing a good title for your research paper in 5 simple steps. Step 1 Ask yourself these questions and make note of the answers. What is my paper about? What techniques or designs were used? Who or what is studied? What were the results? Step 2. Use your answers in Step 1 to list keywords. Step 3. Create a sentence that includes the keywords you listed. Step 4. Make all unnecessary or repetitive words and link the remaining. And step 5. Delete non-essential information and reward the title. So those are the tips 
for writing an effective research paper title. Are you now ready in making your own research paper title? I have here some examples of research title. Students' attitude towards online learning at senior high school level. Assessing the maximum level of customer satisfaction in grocery stores during pandemic. Impact of Facebook usage to the academic performance. In making your statistical mini-research, you have to remember that without data, you're just another person with an opinion. An important note from Edwards Deming. Thank you for listening.